Thanks for joining us here on this Thursday morning with an update on Hurricane Melissa, now located a little more than 500 miles to the southwest of Bermuda, moving very quickly now to the north northeast at about 24 miles per hour. Uh, we've seen them from the data from the Air Force Hurricane Hunter aircraft this morning, maximum sustained winds are around 105 miles per hour. Um, so Melissa is still a powerful hurricane and is going to be moving very near or perhaps just to the west of Bermuda overnight uh, tonight and early Thursday morning, where's a hurricane warning in effect for Bermuda. You see the forecast has the center likely passing to the west of the island, but could still see hurricane force winds, especially in gusts in the higher terrain of Bermuda. Um, so I want to wrap up here uh, with Melissa this morning. Hurricane conditions expected in Bermuda tonight. Tropical storm conditions beginning late this afternoon. Preparations to uh, for uh, for to uh, for uh, uh, dealing with uh, Melissa should be rushed to completion here in the next couple of hours. The good news is with a fast motion of the storm, it's going to be uh, moving by Bermuda relatively quickly, will not be a lot of heavy rainfall and a brief period of strong winds. I do wanna focus again on the post-storm safety for those in those very hard hit areas in Jamaica, Eastern Cuba, uh, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and parts of the Bahamas. Please follow the advice of your local officials you may need to remain sheltered after the storm due to downed trees and power lines and debris and flooding. Uh, any flooding across the Bahamas should subside today. Flooding across Cuba, Jamaica, and Hispaniola could persist for another few days, even though the rainfall itself is largely over. And ensure that you're using your generators safely, at least 20 feet away from your building. And uh, during cleanup, be careful and uh, when using power tools or chainsaws, and please drink plenty of water to uh, remain hydrated during those cleanup uh, efforts. Uh, we often lose a lot of people to fatalities after these types of significant hurricane impacts. So again, please stay safe and follow any advice you're given by your local officials and consult products from your local meteorological service. Uh, thanks for joining us here. You can come back to the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov for, uh, for more information on Melissa throughout today and tonight. I'm Mike Brennan.